love, relationship, marriage, sex, intimate talk with Tolu, shoulder to lean on. Hello, it is your next door love doctor here again, and it is your show, Intimate Talk with Tolu, where we talk intimately, build homes, and mend relationships. I'm going to be talking about a topic that I've titled 11 Facts About Sex. And my number one point says, a sexually frustrated woman will eventually frustrate the marriage. Probably the reason why you are begging your wife for sex is because she's not enjoying it. Probably the reason why she's angry and it looks as if you can't satisfy her. You look at it, there's nothing you could do for her that will make her happy could actually be sex. So, if your wife is sexually frustrated, she's going to frustrate the marriage. It's a fact and not a fallacy. My number two fact says, you need to understand your wife's body to make her enjoy sex. Now, you need to understand that what works for Miss A might not actually work for Mrs. B. Now, don't have this thing at the back of most men actually do that you have this thing at the back of your head i know what women more want i know what every woman wants i know where to touch i know how to touch no even though they are general way of touching a woman but the fact is women are different so you need to understand her own body language so you need to understand your wife's body to make her enjoy sex and how do you understand by asking her, we need to cultivate the habit of talking about sex in this part of the world. And then my number three point says, most time, men desire sex more than women. It's just been a man. So, don't get carried away. Don't get too, like, worried. Why is he always asking for sex? It's just been a man. Most time, and should I tell you why? Testosterone, the hormone that is responsible for sexual drive, is actually higher in men than women. So you see, it's going to desire sex more than you. My number four point says, you need some level of compromise to stop fighting about sex. What do I mean by compromise? Probably, as a woman, you want it like, say, three times in a week. Or let's say, you want it two times in a week. And he wants it five times in a week. So, as a woman, for example, it could actually be the other way around. You could compromise and increase your own to like three times in a week. And then as a man, you could compromise and reduce from five to three. That is an example. So at the end of the day, you both meet at the same level. So the point says, you need some level of compromise to stop fighting about sex. Sex is all about vulnerability. To enjoy lovemaking, you need to be vulnerable. You need to be able to compromise at some level. And then my number five point says, men need just a venue to have sex, but a woman need a reason. Yeah. A man could actually be in love with you and still be sleeping with another. But for a woman, it's not that easy. She needs a reason. Why should I sleep with him? Why should I get connected? Like sense of security. She wants to trust you. She wants to feel these feelings of being loved. She wants to feel like she's saved in your arms. And then my number six point says, kissing is a good form of foreplay. Don't forget we are talking about 11 facts about sex. I mean, how could you jump into lovemaking without foreplay? One problem in this part of the world. And when I talk about foreplay, I want to single out kissing. If you have not been kissing, if you have lost your kiss, somewhere you need to go back and find it. I mean, some couples, the last time they kissed was during the honeymoon. You need to bring back the kisses into your bedroom. If you are a bad kisser, God help you, and then you get married to a good kisser. Forget it. He or she will, might never enjoy sex with you. Because at the beginning, each time she wants to kiss you or he wants to kiss you, and you are doing it wrongly, you are killing all the excitement. So, kissing is a very important part and then of lovemaking and then you don't and you must not neglect it. Intimate talk with Tolu. Shoulder 
to lean on. All right, we are still talking about 11 facts about sex. There are so many facts about sex, but these are just basic things that probably you need to know as a man or woman. So my number seven point says, a sexually frustrated man will cheat or masturbate if not curtailed. Yeah. There's nothing like, oh, I'm a superman, I don't care about sex. No. Everyone wants to have sex. So, if you are married and the only weapon you have to deal with your husband is deny him sex, don't be surprised. The man might eventually cheat or masturbate. I am not trying to say cheating or masturbation is good, but I need you to get a point that if you deny your husband sex for a long period of time and he started cheating, you are not blameless. And then my number eight point says, little things count for women when it comes to sex. Little things like your environment, like the way you smell, the scent, the look, the aura, little things that doesn't count for a man matters for women. For example, a cracky bed, imagine, you know, Sex for a woman, maybe I should divert a little bit. It's like pushing a car up on a cliff. Most women now. Now, you are trying to push a car. You know, let's say you have a cliff like, like this, okay, like this, and then you are trying to push your car up the cliff. And then when you push, women make a lot of effort. It's not so easy. This thing happens and then you might not notice, you might not see what they happen. A lot of things are going on in her mind when she wants to actually put all her mind and enjoy sex. So she's trying to push, this is orgasm, and she's trying to get it. And then she's coming, and she's coming, and she's coming, and there's a little distraction. She's back here. And then she will pick up again, and start coming, and start coming, and start coming. So, because of this, little things matters for women. Maybe she's coming like this. She's putting effort, she's enjoying it, she's pushing, she wanna get there. And they just said the bed started cracking. She might actually, might not be in all cases, but in most cases, women will, will be sensitive to the cracking of the bed and will actually drop. So women will be that sensitive. Then the way you smell, the way you touch her, maybe one of these days, of course, be a part, keep following Intimate Talk with Tolu on this on this channel and then one of these i'm going to be touching talking about how to touch a woman how to touch a woman's breast how to handle a woman then you understand all these things i'm talking about so the root things count for women and then my number nine point says it's good to be skillful in love making to avoid a boring sex life you don't want to be doing missionary style all the time so be skillful i mean what Apply new techniques. Do it in new environment. In your car, on top of your freezer, when the kids are not around on the staircase, they are not bad. Spice up, uh, spice up your sex life and make sure it's not boring. And then the level says, having satisfying sex life two to three times per week or having satisfying sex two to three times per week can actually add as many as three years to your lifespan. Getting busy, getting down when it comes to lovemaking can burn an impressive amount of calories. In fact, sometimes as much as running for 30 minutes. Which one would you rather do? Will you run for 30 minutes or ejaculate, enjoy it, have intimate moments with your partner, with your spouse? And then, you still have, you still have the opportunity to lose weight. And finally, regular sex may also lower your blood pressure, improve your sleep, boost your immunity, and protect your heart. Thank you for being part of Intimate Talk with Tulu. You need to join me on the next episode. Love, relationship, marriage, sex, Intimate Talk with Tulu. Shoulder to lean on.